The toggle word wrap command lets you quickly enable or disable word wrapping in your current file. Now in this TypeScript file, for example, you can see that I have some quite long lines here. So I have to actually scroll my editor horizontally to see these. And if I wanted to actually view them and have word wrapping enabled, one option would be to actually go turn on word wrapping globally. But if I only want word wrapping in my current file, I can use the toggle word wrap command. The default key binding for that is option or alt Z. So I'm gonna do option or alt Z. And now I've enabled word wrapping in the current file. So you can see now that these long lines are actually being wrapped around and going to the next line here. And we have a word wrapped view of my current file. Now, if I wanna go back to the previous view where word wrapping was off, all I have to do is run the toggle word wrap command again using option or alt Z. So I can just toggle quickly back and forth between the two, just like that. And the important thing to know about this command is that it is only affecting my current file. So let me turn on word wrapping here. And again, this is independent of the global setting for word wrapping. So when you run this command, it is just affecting the current file. If I go switch to this other file, for example, you can see it has quite long lines, but word wrapping is not enabled in it. The toggle word wrap command is just for the current file. One use case that I find for the toggle word wrap command is that normally I will have word wrapping disabled, but if I ever come across a file that has a lot of long lines in it, then I will run the toggle word wrap command with option or alt Z, and then be able to have a word wrapped view of it instead. So that's a quick look at the toggle word wrap command in VS Code.